Oh guys, Ghost Rider here, coming at you live with another Dying Light episode. We are going to be doing episode 8 tonight. <clears throat> guys, my numbers are climbing right now on my YouTube channel. I've just hit 31 subscribers. Let's keep it going, shall we? <clears throat> I need the support. I need the help. You guys keep on ranking up the bill and everything, man. It's me. awesome. Talk to Raheem about the volatile she wants him to stay the hell away from it. Oh, God. Keep coughing. Whew. What's going on? Got a viewer here. How's it going? Hold on one second. We'll get going here in a second. All right, let's get it going. Oh, invasion's. Uh, let me review what I got, because it's been a couple of days. Alright, just that. I completed everything else. I swear to God, they already put something good in here. I'm pissed off. Alright, let's just go upstairs and talk to Raheem. Oh, my God. If y'all haven't caught up with the other episodes yet, go to my YouTube channel, GhostXWriter360. It's the same thing, just the X is lowercase is all. Crane. Saeed told me about the explosives you guys found. How perfect is that? Jay gave them to him. Saeed used to be on a bomb squad, so he knows about that stuff. Yeah, kid. That was a lucky find. Would have been better to turn up some antis in, though. My buddy Omar is making sure Saeed's putting good timers on those things. We have to be able to get our asses out of there before they blow. Whoa, we? There, there's no we in this. I, I mean, yeah, that nest needs to go. And now it's possible, but, but if it gets done, I'm doing it on my own. But it's my plan. And I will execute it perfectly, I promise. But, <laughs> ah, shit. There's no use arguing with you, is there? Fine. I'll contact you as soon as Saeed's finished with the charges. Raheem, do we have a deal? I guess. Do we have a deal? Yes. Okay, one more? Nah, he's down in sick. Thanks, kid. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, let's go do this shit. Talk to Zara about the strange infected at the school. So this is new sick bay. Hey Doc, you got a minute? Oh, it's uh, Kane. Yes. Uh, how can I help you? A crane. Remember when I told you about that weird infected I saw? You know, the one who took one look at me and hauled ass away? Yeah, well, I just saw another one, and it did the same thing. Mm hmm. I believe I have heard your colleagues talk about those creatures. Bolters, they call them. Apparently, they favor certain areas of town over others, but only appear at night. I don't suppose you could catch one and bring me a sample of its flesh. You see, a thought occurred to me. A long shot, I realize. But if these creatures favor areas where I left my experimental bait, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please do obtain a sample, but it has to be fresh. So you have to get it back to me quickly. Okay, and where exactly do I find these things? I'm told that quartermaster chap has been keeping track of them. All right. Seems there's some survivors at the bazaar, and the witch is one of them. Guess if anyone's going to bullshit their way to safety, it's going to be Dahlia, right? <laughs> Did you say she's a witch? She says she's a witch. She claims the infected won't even touch her. Because of the... She walked clean across the city without getting touched. At night. Maybe she knows something we don't. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe she's just completely full of shit. Huh. Either way. It's messed up. I saw some people in this school. Got to wonder what they were doing there. All right. What time is it? Okay, it's pure morning. I'll talk to the quartermaster after I'm done. I'm, I'm gonna go to the bazaar, and uh, 
the school. Zara asked me to bring him a sample from that bolter I saw in front of the school. He said they've been spotted in specific areas of the city, so I should focus my search in those places. He also said I needed to get that sample back to him while it was still fresh. So I gotta move. All right. Oh, another mission. Crayons. Rahim's electronic parts. <laughs> Don't expect the radios to work any better. The truth is, Rahim is trying to build a robot runner. He gets these crazy ideas in his head. <sighs> the scouts have seen people entering the school. Something's going on there. All right, let's go. Got my double barrel. My bubble barrel. <laughs> Go to the bazaar first. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just right over here by Dahlia. <coughs> Excuse me. last you are here. I sent for you days ago. Are you always so slow? Perhaps you are resistant to my summons. Good. The strong ones are more difficult, but always so much more worthwhile. You must be the witch. Such prideful contempt. But of course you do not believe in such things. Look, I'm here because I've been told that you... that you have an ability you want to know how I walk among the Immortui without drawing their attack? Is that not so? Huh? Is it possible? For you? No. You are far too crude and ignorant to obtain such deep knowledge. But there is another way. <sighs> Something I could make for you. It's fine, I'd be willing to trade. You are only here because I wish it. And it is my wish that you have this ability. You will need it to be of service to me. Tonight, you will go to the caves while the volatiles are out hunting. Collect as many black mushrooms as you can carry. And I will use them to prepare a tincture for you. That is all I require from you. For now. Okay. All right, so let's go on and go out at night.
Let's pull it open up this chest right here. This tincture will give you some ability to be among the Immortui. It will not last long, and it may disturb your senses. Solutions of greater potency can be prepared, but they will require more powerful agents and greater risk. Now, you are ready to serve me. What do you want? From you? Why, nothing at all. I will never ask anything of you, runner. You may go about your business and do exactly as you think you should. A man of free will. But the <laughs> truth is that you will always be doing my bidding. Even now, you are under my complete control. What the heck? I will summon you again <clears throat> when the time comes. Go now. Enjoy your illusion of freedom. You may leave, but we are not done. Okay then. She's just the real weird one. It's all a little bit more. I still got plenty of weapons. God damn it. I swear to god, these two are just nuts. Praise. I just want to talk. Try listening. The first bullet goes over your head. The next one goes through it. Stop it, Edward. You don't want to scare off someone who might be willing to help us. We don't know this arsehole from a plate of falafel. Don't argue with me. Let him in. Seems Errol wants to talk to you. There won't be any trouble. Do I look worried? Scared to death. He's perceptive. Come in. Come in. I'm Errol. Kyle Crane. This is my niece, Salier, and her son, Aaron. Do forgive Edward, but he's completely right to be worried. We're being pursued by some very ruthless men. There's something oddly familiar about you. There should be. The campaign spent a lot of money putting my face all over town. Of course, you're Errol Asani, governor of the province. Governor of nothing, but Rise has decided that any political figure is a threat to him. So he's ordered me already. That's how I lost my leg. And it seems they haven't given up. 
A squad of his thugs has tracked me to my last safe house in the slabs. Edward was just there. He says they're searching the area. It's only a matter of time before they show up here. Oh, sounds like you got quite a problem. I would pay you very well to resolve it. Hey, you know, people say that a lot to me. Trust me. What I can offer you can't be found anywhere else. At any price. And right, I'll think about it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get some crayons. I don't know why I did that. Okay, get the crayons. Uh, um, do you want a toga and patine? Hey boys, what are we into this time? Do you understand what a battery is? Tolga, you're overwhelming him. <sighs> Inside the engine compartment of a bus is a heavy rectangle. I know what a battery is. Okay, we need bus batteries with marine grade plates and rated at 1300 CCA or better. CCA means cold cranking amps. Obviously. That's a pretty big battery. Yes, easily 50 to 55 kilograms each. That's equal to uh, several large rocks. He's American. The metric system makes him angry. We will need three of them. Oh, you <clears> can <throat> use your brute strength. We know you primitives are keen to show how strong you are to demonstrate physical prowess. You think it will attract females? Ugly and stupid. What else does he have? Oh, how does he live like that? <laughs> Who knows? You have your instructions. Go do your uh, interpretation of them. I love them, they crack me up. <laughs> Two neck breaks.
There we go. Voila. Now right, let's go do cease and desist. Knock them all out at once. <coughs> Kareem on the radio. Hamdi, answer me. What's going on out there? your old friend Carl Crane. Swing for the fences. Kareem, it's Crane. Drop your weapon or you're dead. What the hell's your problem? This doesn't concern <clears throat> you. Sorry, Kareem, but Errol Asani <coughs> is my concern. You're working for him? <laughs> you're a fool. I was his bodyguard, okay? After everything got fucked up and they built the wall, we got overrun. He got bitten on the leg. I took him to Randall, the only doctor I knew in the slums, 
and we cut it off. Clean. It was the only way. He would have turned if we hadn't done it. But the stubborn bastard never forgave us. So, we parted ways. So why are you trying to track him down now? Early on, the authorities evac'd all the political bigwigs out of the zone. Errol told us there was a chopper on the way to take us out with him. Then he got bitten. And with all the shit that happened after that, we missed the flight. But after you turned on the transmitter, we heard Errol asking for evac. And a couple of days ago, somebody responded. From outside. The old bastard's got a flight out, and I want a seat on it. Right, what about Rice? Does he care about this guy? Not a rat's ass. This was my business. I just want to get out of Haran. Yeah, well, looks like you won't be making that flight, huh? That had already dawned on me. But I'd like to walk out of here. Look, if I see you again, I'm gonna assume the worst. You got it? Fair enough. Good luck, Crane. <laughs> You're going to need it. All right, that's taken care of. <clears throat> God dang it. Oh my God. All right. I love this golden shotgun. It is just badass. <clears throat> Back to the high school. Like a ninja. your batteries better check them for bite marks <laughs> <laughs> well done well, no problems with the counting part of the mission how much more do you need to do on this project of yours none of your business goodbye <laughs> oh awesome so much you cracked me up they're the only reason this game is actually pretty funny as hell did you find them yeah i did kareem's take on losing your leg was a bit different than yours so, you talk to him. Edward was right. You do talk too much. You should leave the talking to people like me, and I'll leave the killing to people like you. However, Karim was my bodyguard. He allowed me to get bitten, but I don't really blame him for that. He saved your life. By hacking off my leg? The morning I was bitten was the same day they began dropping suppressants. You understand? I told him the antisim drops would begin within hours. All they had to do was wait. Instead, he listened to that idiot doctor of his, and Karim held me down as the butcher chopped off my leg. Now... Well, I told him that's not gonna happen. You should have killed him. How about you leave the killing to people like me, huh? Quite right. I can get you out of here, Crane. Maybe I like it here. More likely you've made your own arrangements. Well, they won't work. You've been bitten. I can see it in your eyes. You'll never get past the NCOR quarantine. Past what? You see, you have no idea what's going on in the real world. Whoever you think you know, they're not political. And that's the only thing that's going to work now. You don't believe me? Then think of it as an ace up your sleeve. A backup plan. In case you haven't noticed, things don't always work out the way they're supposed to in this town. Right. If I'm interested, what happens next? Two things. The first is we need to paint some markers on the rooftop. There's no paint around here, so you'll have to go out and find some. And the second thing is... Well, let's just say you'll be leaving here in a better way than when you arrived. 
go find some paint. There's a... Thank you, my friend. I owe you. Yes, you do. <clears throat> no, he's definitely going to kill himself. Same old, same old shit. There we go. The roof's been painted. Good. Now there is one last thing. There's a duffel bag in a locker on the second floor. I'd like you to bring it to me. Since you'll probably open it, there's no point trying to hide the fact that there's $24.7 million inside it. One third of it is yours, if you can bring it back. Why doesn't Edward get it? Uh, there are too many biters there. I can't risk losing him. We'd be completely defenseless. And this money's yours? Most of the bank's depositors are no longer human. Stealing from them isn't a crime. Why have you never once taken the wallet of a biter that you've beaten to death? Okay, I'll recover the bag, but there's no calling in the evac until I say so. When I bring back the money, I'm taking the radio. But you'll accept it anyway, because you have no choice. You're worse than cream. Very well. I accept your terms. <laughs> no, it's on the outside.
empty, of course. Sorry, Crane. I had no choice. Kareem said I was a fool to trust you. Let's see what he left me. <laughs> Hello, Crane. How's your day been? Yeah, I thought we had an understanding. I think we have a better understanding now. But if you want to shoot me... Another time, maybe. He did leave you a few goodies. I was going to nick him, but I thought, no, Crane's earned them. Let him have them. Well, you're almost okay, Kareem. <laughs> almost. Until next time. Good luck, Kareem. Exactly. I just love how Kareem's the only, like, sensible guy. And I should, like, help you out and everything, you know? He's a... <coughs> sorry. He's that one, like, sarcastic, helpful person, you know? I mean, he's the enemy, but not the enemy, you know? Let's well, take these back to, uh, home base. Give, like, a jackload of points. There we go. Let's get going. Can't get to me.
All right, let's go ahead and head up. You found some crayons. Oh, fantastic. You're the best. <laughs> the kids are going to lose their minds, but in a good way. Here, take this. You'll make better use of it than I will. One's playing on a game, the other one's playing, like, you know, on the, uh... <coughs> Let's head back down to the quartermaster, talk to him. <sighs> Zara asked me to bring him a sample from that bolter I saw in front of the school. He said they've been spotted in specific areas of the city, so I should focus my search in those places. He also said I needed to get that sample back to him while it was still fresh. So I gotta move. <laughs> God damn, my cough is bad. What can I do for you? Doc Zara says you know where I should look for these, uh... Bolters. Super fast infected, covered in big green blisters. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can point you in the right direction. Here, here, and here. Though you ask me, if trouble don't come looking for you, no reason to go looking for trouble. <laughs> Words to live by, thanks. Yeah, let's go thanks and give him the drop. Nice. So you beat rice to the airdrop, huh? Now that's impressive. So I'll take that, 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 that. Thank you, sir. How can I assist you? All right. Um. Yeah, this one. I've got a special deal for you. Do you now? Let's see what you got, baby. Back cigarettes. Mm, he, he doesn't have good shit for me. Oh well. You need something? Nope, I don't. All right, guys, I'm gonna go and stop the video here. Next episode will be start of of the main mission. I'm gonna get that going, and then um, getting into sector zero. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Um, I hope you all are enjoying my content and everything. I really would like comments and everything on my channel just to see what you guys want to see, you know, more of. My next video will be posted of the Call of Duty World War II Darkest Shores Zombies game. It's my first attempt at it, you know, going at it, trying to figure out the map. Hope you all enjoy. Like and subscribe. I'll talk to you all later.